What's going on guys? Another mining video for you today. Got my coffee here. Uh, you know, it's mainly a crypto mining channel, so it makes sense. Well, you know, it's nice, kind of early in the morning, 10 30 a.m. when I'm shooting this video. Got my 1660 Ti though on my test bench. My test bench is pretty packed right now. I got one, two, five GPUs on it. Right now, it's more of a mining rig than a test bench, but we'll check out the 1660 Ti. It is an EVGA 1660 Ti sitting smack in the middle between my 3070 and my 1070 right now. Uh, nice looking car, looks pretty much exactly like my 2060. Uh, just doesn't have the 2060 brand on 1660 Ti, but today we'll look at, I'll show you, I already have it dialed in uh, to where I, I wanna keep it, so. I'll show you my overclocks. I didn't mess with the curves at all, uh, and I'll show you that in afterburner. But I got it dialed in to be pretty power efficient, so let's go in. I'll show you guys my overclocks, and we'll look at some profitability on this GPU. So let's go inside the computer and check it out. All right, so here we are remoted in, uh, and you can see my 3060 Ti over here in the miner for some reason on afterburner it comes up as tu uh 11 6 a now i did have an issue with this is that gigabyte motherboard that i did have the issue with on hive os taking a six card so that might be the same issue i'm running into here but it's still working inside of uh inside the miner so i didn't go too deep into it i didn't flash this one with the mining bios i may have to later on but for the most part, I plan on getting all the cards off of this rig, so I don't think I'm going to need to do that. But you can see I'm getting on my 1660 Ti 31.5 mega hash a second at 77 watts. Now, you can see in my overclocks here that I didn't really mess with the curves at all. I'm at negative uh, 202 on the, on the core here and plus 1100 on the memory. And I have my power limit at 60. Now I got it down to just under 80 watts. And I'm pretty happy with where it's at there. It's a pretty efficient car. It's more efficient right now than my 2060. And you can see it in the efficiency in the miner. If you look in the one column where it says E, you can see the efficiency. So my 3070 is obviously my most efficient, followed by my 3060. Uh, and then it comes to my 1660 Ti. Obviously my least efficient is my 1070. I actually may look to stop using that card relatively soon in the near future and i'm going to put that one in possibly put that one in my girlfriend's gaming pc and then sell her 960. uh it's not even a chisel game but it's i built her a pc just for her to use for her editing purposes so i may up, upgrade hers to the 1070 and sell off her 960. but let's go over to Coin 360 here, we can see ETH at 3,800, down a little bit from what it was before. Uh, it was hovering over 4,000, but it's still pretty high. Doge looks like it's still pumping a little bit at 51 cents, so that's still going. And Bitcoin's still down a little bit. So, in what to mine, we can look at, we'll do 78 watts at 31.5 mega hash a second. Uh, 13 cents per kilowatt hour is pretty accurate to what I am paying. I usually like to do Ethereum Classic also. just They usually react similar as far as the algorithms. Just to get a view of if ETH were to stop be mineable relatively soon because that is coming what I would be looking at making in the current market. So if I calculate that, so I'm looking at $4.73 per day in revenue with a profit of $4.49 per day for that 1660 Ti. Um, and on Ethereum Classic, you're looking at about $2.50 and $2.25. Cents. Uh, not too bad, even if I was mining Ethereum Classic, still profitable, not nearly obviously as Ethereum. But, you know, it's a pretty profitable GPU. I'm going to keep running it for a while. I plan on putting it downstairs. Now, I haven't decided on what to do yet with some of my other rigs, but we'll talk about that in a second. All right, so that's my profitability on my 1660 Ti. Obviously, 
Uh, Semi-profitable, I mean, I, I'd say it's not my most profitable card, obviously, but still a very popular card to run, very power efficient. Uh, if power is an issue for you, I definitely recommend picking them up if you can. I probably wouldn't spend any more than like 450 to 500 on them because at that point, it'll probably, the ROI will just take a little bit too long for it. Um, but that's just my personal opinion. You can still go out and do that. I know the used market is pretty tough right now. Now, as far as what I want to do with these GPs, I'm not entirely sure yet. I plan on trying to pick up more 1660 Ti's and 2060's to build out a rig, but I don't know if I want to retire my P106's and take them off and just liquidate those and possibly sell them off real cheap to somebody else wanting to get into mining. I, they do fairly well on Ethereum Classic. Uh, that six car rig's putting out 130 mega hash a second. So it's still a fairly profitable rig and they are very power efficient, but I could run I could use that frame and that motherboard to run six 2060 slash 1660 Ti's and put them on Ethereum and have a much more profitable rig. So I don't know if I want to go down that path or if I, when I do get the cards, um, I mean, I still have to source out these cards. So it's not like I have them in possession. So I don't have to decide this right now, but I don't know if I want to build out another rig and just have another rig in my basement where all my crypto mining is going on. But, you know, like the... Here's some people's opinions on what you would do. Would you take apart the P106 three gigabyte card rig and put, uh, you know, more modern GPUs on it, like 2060s and 1660 Ti's and run them and kind of get rid of the P106s while they still have a little bit of value or just pretty much run the P106s into the ground until they cannot mine anything profitable anymore. And then they pretty much become paperweights, and I don't get to, I can't sell them at all at that point, and end up just trashing them or just leaving them laying around, and build out another rig with just 2060s and 1660 Ti's. I'm looking at another six card rig there. Uh, I will have probably one more power supply left over that I can build out that rig. Uh, but you know, still, uh, still tamp around with some ideas on what to do. I am currently working on another rig anyway. So I want to try and finish that one out, but I'm still trying to get my hands on some more either 2060, 27 or 2080 supers. Uh, they're becoming harder and harder to get. I know 2080 supers can be up to $1,000. 2070 supers can be up to 875 and 2060 supers can be up to like 750, 800. So I'm not trying to pay those prices. I want to keep my cost down so that I can get my ROI to be good. But I want three more of them GPUs. I have the 12070 Super running right now. You guys saw in the one benchmark video. Pretty happy with the results on it. So it's just a couple ideas that I'm tossing around. But right now, you know, you see that the 1660 Ti is pretty profitable. So I mean, I'm gonna plan on getting a few more of those. So I will keep my eye open for those and the 2060. If you, in my opinion, they perform Pretty much on par with each other. I would prefer 2060s over 1660 Ti's because I feel like on other algorithms they might perform slightly better, such as like Conflux, that might be a coin that I may might be mining in the future once Ethereum starts coming closer to an end. But that's later on down the road. I just want to try and prepare myself for that with cards that are good on that algorithm and not just on Ethereum. But thanks for checking this video out. Make sure you hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and leave your thoughts in the comments. Uh, see you next time.